Hey guys, so we have a bunch of new Godzilla vs. Kong footage all in the last day or so. So let's jump right in and see what's new here. The Chinese spot would give us one of the most beautiful shots yet. Just look at this awesome nighttime shot of Godzilla. He's glowing blue and swimming at the surface of the water, dorsal fins exposed. It looks like this is Hong Kong at a river opening to the ocean, giving Godzilla easy access to the mainland. You can see two large towers lit up on either side of the river, and I just have to say that I love the imagery here. And then we see Godzilla blasting upwards at a heave vehicle. This could be Hong Kong at night, but with the heave present, it's possible that it could be in the hollow earth as well. We'll get what I think is more of this scene coming up here that shows the background a bit better. And that brings us to the new TV spot. It starts off with some shots of Gia, the Iwi girl, as she approaches Kong with that little Kong doll of hers. And then we see Kong, and he's using sign language, signing the word home. We knew they could communicate with each other, but now we know that they do so using sign language. This really shows the depth of intelligence that Kong has as a primate titan. Did the monkey just talk? You gotta love the monkey reference here. We have a new up-close shot of Kong's face as he's lying down, and this to me looks like it's while he's being transported on those boats. And I know I've already said this enough, but the detail here is amazing to me. Godzilla will come for him. It would be a death sentence. We hear this from the Team Kong duo. Here's yet another great shot of Kong. He looks beat down. He's trying to get up in some daytime cityscape. They really did a great job on the hair of Kong. To me, it looks very realistic, and I love that grizzled older look. And here's that shot of the inside of the heave as Godzilla is blasting up at it that I mentioned earlier. And here, it's easier to see the buildings in the background. Since we have Team Kong inside the heave, I wonder if this will be a distraction on Godzilla to save Kong from a blast or something. Like he's down and out for a second or distracted somehow. And then we come to the last of the footage for now in what is being called the final trailer. For new footage here, we begin with Kong as he's pounding on his chest. Now we may have seen this before, it's hard to remember with all the recent spots and trailers. And then we get it, the big reveal. And no, it's not Mecha G. And I'm glad we haven't seen more of it. Instead, it's Kong as he's escorting the heave ships into the hollow earth. We know from that recent set visit reveal that the team takes Kong with them into the hollow earth for protection. And this is clearly that expedition. It is an epic scene. You can see the upside down mountains that make up the ceiling of the hollow earth. The area below them is massive with clouds and sky. It really looks like a regular surface shot with just a roof added on. Kong is on all fours on a ledge overlooking this huge valley. In the center is a jagged and steep group of mountains. Above them is a group of storm clouds and there's an opening in the center of them with a bright light shining through that almost looks as if it was lit by flame, pouring down onto the highest peak below. Along the sides of the shot are lines of that blue energy that's likely tied to the source of the Titans that we've seen in other trailers. And this leads right into an amazing nighttime shot with Godzilla. It looks like he's attacking some kind of industrial area with large cranes or some kind of structure behind him. There's explosions going off, and Godzilla looks pissed off. This could easily be an Apex facility. We then see some people falling on what looks like a ship that's tipping over. I can't help but wonder if this is on one of those ships from that fleet attack scene. You sure the monkey's gonna survive this? Asks Maya Simmons. We get a nice close-up of Gia and Kong here. And then we see another beautiful neon-lit clip of Kong as he's avoiding Godzilla's atomic breath by moving through the buildings. That set visit info said that Kong was in Godzilla's territory in the fleet attack scene. So for the Hong Kong fight, the city is like a concrete jungle, giving an agile titan like Kong a much needed advantage. It's us I'd worry about, says Nathan Lin in reply to the question of if the monkey can survive this. And then we see Godzilla in Hong Kong, arching his back and roaring up, about to unleash an atomic breath. This could be from that heave attack from earlier, but it could also be a dominance display as well. And I know I've said it a million times, but I love this neon nighttime fight look. People kept complaining about all the nighttime fights in the MonsterVerse. And even though this film does have daytime battles, 
It's the Hong Kong Knight stuff that I can't wait to see. Here we have Team Kong as they're screaming in that heave ship, and then we see Madison, Josh, and Bernie in what is likely an Apex facility. We find out from that set visit info that the trio are out looking to find the head of King Ghidorah, which Apex would be in possession of. And here it is guys, a close up, face to face with a battle of the roars. Kong is either on the ground or pinned down on a building or something and both are screaming at each other. Now we'll take a look at that ancient rivalry TV spot that came out just as I was editing the video. First off, this look at Godzilla as he's coming up under the aircraft carrier looks like a new shot to me. I'm not sure if it is though with all the new spots. I do love how agile he looks underwater though. They have an ancient rivalry is heard in voiceover. Godzilla will come for him. A statement backed up by the cave painting of two of their species fighting it out. We've got a new angle on the people in the ships flying around as they tip over and sink. And we have new shots of Kong as he's plunged into the water. And I've mentioned before how he's still chained up here. Well, as it turns out, with Kong being the good guy, he ends up using those chains to pull one of the ships back up to the surface, possibly saving everyone on board. We then see Madison looking on as we get a final shot of the Big G roaring. And that is it on the new footage, for now at least. Man, I really can't wait for this to come out. I'm Team Godzilla all the way, but I also love Legendary's Kong. And all the footage so far has me loving both sides of this matchup. The Hollow Earth looks amazing. It may just be my favorite footage yet. I like the CGI and all the clips. I know some people have said that this clip here isn't so great, but it looks fine to me. Heck, I've been waiting for like 35 years to see a new take on King Kong vs. Godzilla, so I still can't believe it's actually happening. What's your favorite part of the footage? Let's discuss down in the comments. And as always guys, take care. Your likes, shares, comments, and subscriptions go a long way towards helping the channel grow. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time.